do want to address something um, that I once posted a few days ago on social media on the internet and um, I see a lot of people you know telling me to get well soon or be better and you know I posted a video um, I'll just put it up here so you guys can see where I was showing um, me being involved in an incident or a situation not accident incident or a situation that I was caught up in and then um, so yeah, a lot of people actually thought that I was dead or not dead, but a lot of people thought that you know, I didn't make it out alive. So now um, I just want us to speak a bit more about it, just so I know that you guys, um, you know, there's loyal fans, there's um, people that are like close by, that are also like you know looking into basically uh, understand better and know how things are on our side. But most importantly, people that are looking into just be on my I'm on my journey, you know, be a part of my journey. Um, just to clarify, yes, we're not involved in an accident, but uh, we're taking a drive. Ne? Sorry, guys, I'm just a bit distracted because you know, we are um, back home, you know, and you know, um, yeah, we're just driving around in the streets here. We just want to do some few missions, but yeah. So, we were actually driving, um, you know, um, it was on, I think it was on a Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I just got a call and I had to go to Clexton in and out. In and out, meaning that I'm there, you know, within a few minutes, and then I'm out within a few more minutes. So, what happened is that you know, we did drive there around like five, I mean, around four. We drove to Tesla, it took us like maybe two hours, three hours to get there. It was like a 200 um, kilometer drive, something like that. We landed there, you know, everything went smooth. It was just a bit dark when we landed there, and yeah, you know, I managed to, to do whatever that I was there to do. Um, it's a bit more, I was doing like, you know, um basically doing family responsibility stuff in this so what happened from there now is um you know we came back on the journey back home oh, let me just do this actually happened so that you guys have a clear understanding a clear view um you know i even put there i even mentioned to um some of my brothers and sisters that you know a lot of people can say a lot of things a lot of people know how to talk and they know how to tell you when to do something right or wrong according to their eyes but they can't even last you know, a second in your shoes because it's not easy you know that's why you'd see that you know there's um people that you need to listen to there's people that you shouldn't be listening to especially when you're hustling comes a time in age where everyone wants to say something everyone wants to tell you how to use your money how to spend your money what to do who to talk to not to do and stuff but would you rather listen to a person that's not gonna help you elevate that doesn't know how to help you elevate or would you rather listen to someone that has been in your shoes that has made it out and that's actually even gonna be able to help you you know get there but it's your choice to speak you know um, we are old enough to make our own choices um, I've, I've even seen um, the other time on, on, on one of the comments I think one guy made a video about us a few years ago I think it's, it's a long time ago um, That guy was like talking about We took some um, negative trades Stop losses and stuff And then guy was talking about how we can't trade You know I can't trade I've never done this Mind you I've been doing this for the last 7 years I think I'm going for 8 years now And one guy came and said Oh you, you, I'm hurt I thought you could trade And now you can't trade And I was just laughing there by myself That like you know um, Someone just saw a video of someone saying that we don't trade or something similar to that and automatically that's how like people believe people which is which is which is um you know the worst thing but like i did say it's all your choice we don't believe people you know if we want something i'll rather read a book get research on it i'd rather ask someone that has done it or been there to get better advice or i'd rather go to the right sources for that i'll never hear something from someone and take it as yeah you know i'm um, like you someone can tell me something about someone and i believe that and act upon it I'll have to see it from that someone, you understand? So that's just how things are. But yeah, guys, you know, we pushed, we hustled, and then we went from class dog. As soon as we got there, now we had to come back home. And then now we're driving back home. We used, so going there, we used a different road, the quickest dog side. But coming back now, um, we used uh, uh, the end of, I think it's the end of, yeah, end of, the one where you're coming in like this, and then you're gonna pass via so we're tours and them. 
So just um after when we landed there, now this one was straightforward and open. It was an open road, so we made it a bit more quicker. But just after we passed by Soweto, um there was an off ramp just before uh, I think it's Maraisberg. Just before the off off ramp of Maraisberg, the place is uh, Maraisberg. You know uh the car now I don't know what's happening. You know I started losing control. I started losing control, and I'm asking myself, you know what's going on. And you know, but I balanced it. You know, we went to advanced driving. You know, I've been in multiple situations whereby I nearly been in an ex I've never been in an accident before in my whole life, but I've been in ex situations whereby I nearly been in an accident, meaning that me being the one, you know, I'm driving and something happens and you know, I'm, I'm caught up in a situation. So, yeah, you know, I'm always like, I always react like there was a time we were driving from Cape um, Devon and then. You know, I, I, there was a time we were driving from Devon and you know the water I think the route was like too slippery and the water started spinning like this but I controlled it you know I held it so that's just how, how it happened so yeah now the car started like you know I could feel that a tire is out like completely out so now it's starting to lose control and I'm braking because I was going a bit more fast so now I'm like reducing speed reducing speed then I stop on the side of the road yo that's where everything started to happen because truly speaking guys yeah guys i just want to settle a bit you know um lay low just so i can talk to you guys properly because this is very important i need some of you guys you know i need attention i need you guys to also to be able to just this thing is actually you're gonna even need to tell your family about it like your parents you're not like that's how important this is because it's not just you know um something you know something where it's just about me and update and then done no this is actually an important thing that i highly believe can help someone even if it's not thousands of you it can just be someone you know a family member or something close to them so yeah i need you guys to stay with me while i'm just settling in here and we just have to do this big without any other way Okay, guys, I was just looking you through on how important this thing is gonna be, especially for you guys as families and stuff. But yeah, you know, just to make this story not be too long as well, um, like I did mention, you know, uh, we came a point where by now, you know, um, I could feel that the car is losing control, so I had to just stop on the side, wait a bit, and then take it. So while we stopped, fortunately, within like maybe a minute, not even two minutes, a minute, um, Metro Police came by. So me, all the time, you know, um, police, they always stop us, and we always want to search us and all these things. So Metro Police, they came by, but they were thinking that, you know, um, we are obviously trying to do something, you know, I don't know. But fortunately, when they stopped and they saw us, they were like, okay, no, these are just two, because I was with my brother, they were like, no, these are just two young stars, and, you know, they just chill, nothing much. But they saw that we actually have a problem. Our tire now was out. I mean, I was running with the run thread, but the way the car was so messed up, even the run thread didn't run flat. <laughs> you understand? So that's how um, hectic things were. And then, yeah, from there, you know, um, we just stopped and then Metro came through, you know, they spoke with us and then they started asking us questions, you know, they just wanted to tell you what's happening, what's going on, we told them, we mentioned to them. And then, fortunately, they even suggested that I reach out to insurance. Because me, I pay insurance, you know, um, and all those things. But I was not really, I, 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 I'm not a person that claims or that does those things. So they were like, no, call your insurance to tell you because, you know, us, like, you know, once the car goes on flat, you can't really drive it to the nearest garage. You can't really, you know, um, tow it. You know, you need to like get a truck to actually put it on top of the truck just so you take it there. You know, so yeah, we called insurance. The insurance called, um, told us that the car is gonna be there within seven minutes. So now this is where the story started being interesting. So the metro police now tell us, okay, guys, we're not gonna leave you here. I didn't wanna tell you guys this, but truly speaking, this is a very, very, very um high demand hijack spot. Which, not even hijack, um, this is a very um, high in demand um, spot where people come and they rob you guys. So I was like, what, they're gonna take cars? And they're like, no, they don't take cars, but instead, what happens is that they actually take out, like, you know, literally, like, your, um, they'll take your phones, your bank cards, your, like, anything, anything that you have. And then what they'll do as well is that they'll send you 
um, they'll, they'll, they'll take you go on the other side and then what they'll do as well is that they'll send someone like let's say um, they gave us two scenarios that happened recently mind you recently the first one was um, one lady uh, you know they took out they cleared out all their money from their cards and stuff and, and, and stuff and then you know um they sent the husband like you know um you know we need twenty thousand want to send, send it now at this number and then the husband was like no i won't send it you guys are taking chances and then they hit her with the um panga i don't know uh panga panga like a saw like a saw a sword it's more like a sword but you know yeah panga they hit her with that here they opened up a, a, a skull and then um the other incident as well um the other ones uh they wanted money and they were they wanted from the parents so the parents didn't want to send money so they're like to show you guys the receivers they shot that guy in their leg you know they shot him in their leg and stuff so now the metro is telling us this that this happens every day they're like in fact even just a few minutes from now something happened here and every time we hear we don't find these people you know while we're speaking like this while they're explaining those things to us another car stops <laughs> next thing is stopping on the same spot that we stop now i'm thinking hey, we're gonna be hijacked now me and my brother we are not searching ourselves we're trying to you know like put nice you know um adjust and do all those things but that car also they are victims meaning that they also got like um i think those guys they put something on the road and then you step on it and then your car gets a puncture then you're gonna stop like a few miles from here you understand that's how it works and then that car stopped as well same thing now that one was also was because that uncle that stopped um it was an old uncle and he was going to a hospital he said he had uh like he, he, he had an emergency so basically even for him now his life was threatened because he's rushing the um his son was taking him to a hospital but now because of this um you know the car stopped on the side now they have to change tires they have to go through all these things luckily for them they could change tires for us we couldn't change tires we had to get a tow truck go to the nearest garage get a new tire do all those things but now the cops are telling us and while they are explaining this to us and while that car is busy like stopped um there comes uh i think four four uh police uh security security can, ca cars so now i think they spotted these guys now uh, and what they call these guys are zama zamas so for me, I was, I was, I was shocked. You know? I was like, what? Oh, Zama Zama, what's that? I've heard about this growing up, you know. They say they live under the, the, the sand, you know, all that. But I've never really been exposed to it in terms of me because I'm always in the house, hustling, just trying to get my bread and do all those things. So I can't really focus more on, you know, what Zama Zamas are doing and stuff. Guys, please speaking, I just want to get in the water real quick and then I want to walk you guys through this while I'm in the water. So guys, yeah, you know just after I said the Zama Zama where even now I had to get in the water just to feel off because it was hectic, you know, it was hectic. But guys, as soon as those four security guards landed, they landed like each one had a car, I think they came like two in each car or something like that. But even at some point there was like a lot of cars around us. And then those guys are coming in like this here. So when they're coming, I think they didn't see the security guys. So they were walking and they're walking from the outside of the road instead of on the on the road. And then those guys they spotted them and then they saw them. They're like, ah, there they are, you know, they're like, ah, these guys one, two, three. And now they started shooting. I think the one went straight in the middle of the road and then they started like aiming at that guy there at the they were at the top. Like on you know, I'm on the end ones, I'm on the on the national route. There's like almost like hills on the side. So they were at the top thing. And then those guys started like chasing them and they started shooting. It sounded like firecrackers. Like, <laughs> now it's just going up and down like this. Now they in our in our mind we're thinking oh, we just have a tire and we just kind of change the tire and go home. But now we caught up like you know in this shooting. We caught up in these scenes where it's just like so many things that are going on. And at the time, you know, um, I was just on a call with my mom, so I was explaining to her that hey, you know, we are we stuck, you know, but uh, we're getting help now. You know, we say we say it's not safe here, so you know, I just wanna um, handle some stuff real quick and then I'll give you a call. So while I'm talking like that with the She's hearing gunshots at the bed. <laughs> and then I'm like, Shasha, we'll talk to the heck up. Yo, my mama stressed out because she was worried. She started calling like my brothers, everyone. She just wanted to know what's going on. Are you guys safe and stuff? But yeah, we won. And then um, after they, I think they started, they left even there, but not all of them. Some security, they stayed with us. And then the others, like, they took the cars and then they started like chasing those guys. They went in, like, in the bushes where they ran into and stuff. And you just hear from a distance now, like, gunshots, more gunshots, like, firecrackers. <laughs> and all these things so now all that was happening um the guy came the insurance hustled me a truck it came but that truck now the only problem was it was it, the car couldn't fit on you know um it wasn't my car is too loose it couldn't fit on the on the on the on the uh, on that truck 
So now we had to rearrange, you know, we had to regroup, we had to come up with different plans and stuff. And I was like, you know what, guys, I'm, I'm not going to be here for too long. Uh, and I'm not really trying to risk my life trying to, uh, you know, maybe just make sure that things are 100% fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive this car like this. I'm driving to the nearest garage station. I'm going to leave it though. I'm going to come up with a plan when I get there. I'm like, no, we don't have vibes. One, two, three. I was like, let's go. Then, yeah, we got in the car. I also put the video. We got in the car. The tow truck, there was a tow truck behind us, there was like more security behind us, there was security in front of us as well, even metro police and stuff, and they started escorting us to the garage because it wasn't safe, you know, it wasn't safe at that level. And then, yeah, when we got to the garage now, now I had to make sense, and I was looking for guys that sold tires, food, that could change tires and stuff, and, you know, in the, in, in the AMs, you know, because this, it took so many hours, like, this took long, because once we got to the garage now, we got one guy, and that guy was like, I'll get you a new tire, just pay this much, and then, now he's saying he's going to take an hour, then I call another person, that person saying he doesn't have the tire, I call this person. Eventually I was tired, it was 3 a.m. and I was tired. And then I was like, you know, I, let's leave this car here, we're going home, when I come back the next morning, when my mind is clear, when everything is safe, and then when I rethink things, and then when I do things, it's much more better. What that then has happened, you know, um, there's a lot of situations that I've been involved in, and there's a lot of things that I actually put myself in, and you know, I wasn't really happy, you know, um, and... It's always like, you know, it's always traumatic moments, but at the end of the day, it's actually what makes us, you know, because we become stronger, we become braver, we know what to do, we become wiser, we know where to go, we know where not to go, we know what time we need to be out, what time we need to, we need to be at home. You know, you learn so many things while going through these things. So for me, you know, I'm super blessed to be going through, um, you know, a lot of moments that actually open up my eyes like this because at the same time, I was losing, um, I was losing faith in our government or our system or our people. But when I started seeing the metro was now helping me, you know, I'm used to metros that are helping me, taking me and giving me fines and all this. But now they're helping me, they're protecting me, they're waiting there with me, you know, and I'm seeing like security is here. Not even like security that I got, it's, like, it's just security that was like um, around the area and they're now, you know, protecting. For me, it also gives me hope in terms of, you know, there are actually good people out here and there's amazing people. And, um, the, the most important thing is I believe that we can also make that job much more easier by being wiser, by being braver. We shouldn't just close our eyes and like you know let things happen. But instead we need to be smart and we need to level up. So that's just like you know um what actually happened. Uh because I so I just posted the video because you know there's a lot of things that happen in a day. Like please speaking, if I could just bring a camera, follow me though like the whole day, you think that I'm shooting a movie. Because you think some of the things are making it up and stuff, you know, you think that it's actually a movie, but I saw and I just put that video out and that video like it went viral and now you know people are talking about it here and there they're making other videos they're doing this and all that and it's, it's, it's easy to talk you know it's nice to talk and say certain things but if you if you don't really know what's going on i mean it's one thing that i've noticed is that i used to look up and believe in so many things and learn from so many people or look up to multiple people but when i started seeing that other people just like um people can just talk without the right information people can just talk that's when i started losing respect for certain people because now it shows you that um, whatever these people are saying is not even, um, they don't have the right sources, you know, they're not using the relevant information. So that's just also something that you as a person, you need to be aware of, you need to just be able to just move forward and we're doing this big guys, we're doing this big and yeah, I just want to talk to you guys and I hope you guys did enjoy, you know, our music, so you guys through what happened and make sure that you like, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you do all those things, comment below, tell me what it is that you see and let me just give you a backflip just to represent 